The 2022 Vancouver Pro Open Class is today, ladies and gentlemen. And I am sure many of you have a top two, an easy top two in this, namely six and seven. But either way, let's be fair to all of the other competitors in the Open Class. I love the Open Class. I'm sure it's your favorite too. Let's go through these guys, and after this, I will give you, I might as well give you guys my top seven. Leave nobody out in this prediction list. Number one is Seth Ingman, and he's from Utah, don't you know? I believe that he has not competed since the, uh, the 2021 Indie Pro, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong. Good lat spread on this guy. Looks just like Dorian Yates in those lats. No fooling, he really does. Look at that. Impressive. Anyway, he only took 12th at the Indie Pro. So don't look for him to win this show, but look for some improvements. Now this guy I am really impressed with. Jonas Guillatriz, he plays sixth in Orlando. He got third in Puerto Rico. He's reaching, he's reaching. He just needs to reach that much further. You see that? Ooh, you know, Jonas looks like uh, Jesse the Batty Ventura. Did you know that, Jonas, that you look just like me, Jesse the Batty Ventura? Ha ha ha. Wonder if he's as smart as Jesse. Number three is Martin Hernandez. He was competing also at the Orlando. He only took ninth. But guys, this guy is shredded, peeled. Hope he brings that classic condition that we're uh, used to seeing him. And, you know, he could be a dark horse. And this guy here will, in fact, be a dark horse. Hasin Kalate. Kalate? I got his name wrong at the Toronto Pro, too. I'm, I'm sorry. Look at the heart-shaped bicep on this guy. Boing. Either way, guys, why is he my dark horse? Because he won the Toronto Pro, guys. He won the Toronto Pro. 212. He won it, guys. 212 division. But still, but still, he's coming up. He's got a ticket to 212. He could get a bit... Have a ticket to the open class. Now this guy, Kuk Kwang Moon, I thought I seen him compete. Couldn't find anywhere that he was competing uh, recently, but I could have sworn I seen this guy compete. Now correct me if I'm wrong, thought he just competed at one of these pro shows, but either way, NPC News Online has him listed as getting his pro card 2019. So we haven't seen him compete yet, but I don't know. I don't know. I thought I seen Kuk. Ku Kwang Moon. Now, it's obvious, guys. This is the last two gentlemen. Antoine Vaillant, Ian Vallier. I mean, it's going to be your top two on everybody's prediction list. But there's a couple of other guys there that could squeak in. Antoine Vaillant. Haven't seen him since the Olympia, where he took 14th. Ian Vallier took 7th at the same Olympia, but this is Ian Vallier from last year's Olympia, where he also took seventh. He's been heck on wheels, getting second at the Arnold's Classics, Ian. He won the Texas, he won the Tampa. I mean, Antoine won, won the Cali last year. He, was it the year before? Anyway, 2021, I believe. 2020, maybe. Yeah, that's what it was. Anyway, guys, got to get my facts straight. It was It was a Cali pro, and it wasn't last year. It was the year before. But can Antoine Vaillant surprise everybody? I think he has the tools. I think he has everything it takes to actually get a victory over Ian Valliere. Will he? Will he on my prediction list? Well, I guess you'll have to wait and see, won't you? At number seven, I apologize. I apologize. Seth Engman. He began the video, and he's, he's ending up placing in seventh. But hey, prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. I got this guy, Martin Hernandez. I got him in uh, sixth place. He could squeak in there. He could squeak in there. But I don't know about this guy who I am placing fifth. Kuk Kwang Moon. He was number five on the list too. I honestly think with his thickness, if he comes in condition, he could place second. Maybe even, well, I don't know. He might be able to place first. In fourth place, I apologize, Jonas. Jonas Guillatriz, he could he's another guy easily get in that top two spot. Jesse the Paddy Ventura. Jesse the Pilgrim. 
Anyway, Jonas, you look like Jesse Ventura. You should run for governor. In third place, this is going to be a tight top three, guys. Hassan, 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 Kalete, Kalete. He's your 212 Toronto Pro Champion. Can he become your Vancouver Pro Champion? That would be awesome. I'd like to see him get into that top three spot. And, all right, all right. This is your second place guy. I'm not going to go out and predict him as your winner, even though I was going to. I really was. But I got to be realistic with these prediction lists. I have to stop making those far-fetched predictions. And Antoine Vaillant in second place, eh, he's going to have to fight to get to that second place. A couple other guys there. Jonas. And Cook. Here's your winner. This is your 2022 Vancouver Pro Champion, Ian Valier. He's your Texas Pro Champion, Tampa Pro. What, he won the New York Pro? He won the Vancouver Pro today? I mean, my goodness, this guy has a, you know, a, he has bragging rights. He has bragging rights. He takes a lot of heat from a lot of people, but you got to give Ian Valier his credit. It's going to be a battle today. He's going to have to battle with Antoine Vaillant. And don't tell me, don't you tell me how to say Antoine's last name. I'm Canadian too, eh? It's Antoine Vaillant, not Valiant. Va Valant. Any anyway, guys, hit thumbs up on the video. Look forward to all of the updates, first callouts, things of that nature, and of course, I will announce the winners. All right, guys, that's it. Have a great one.